We're on day eight of the ride for renewables, and I'm reporting from Glendive, Montana. And we're coming up on a pedestrian bridge, crossing the Yellowstone River. It's a beautiful old steel bridge that the city of Glendive has maintained for bikes and people want to walk across it just to quietly take in the beauty of the Yellowstone River which we're coming up to here in a moment I love these old bridges It's great that this old bridge has been maintained for the public, public access like this. These are part of our history. It's a beautiful day, Glen Dive. Probably High 50s, low 60s, sunny, perfect day for riding. Going to be heading out of town here in a few minutes, but wanted to pedal this bridge and show you the beautiful Yellowstone River, one of our national treasures. Which, of course, was in the news this summer after ExxonMobil had that major oil spill that contaminated a section of the river. But I'm just going to let you enjoy the beauty of the river for a moment. I'll pull over here. In many ways, rivers are the lifeblood of America. So we have to protect these precious resources. And uh, the reason I wanted to stop here for a moment is just to think about for a second the impact that this proposed uh, Keystone XL tar sands pipeline could have on this river. I mean, a major spill from that pipeline with that very highly toxic tar sand slurry could be absolutely catastrophic to everyone living downstream and to all the life forms that live in this river. So that's just one more reason why we don't need this pipeline coming across the Great Plains of America and risking destroying the rivers that we love and the land that we love. So, that's why I'm here. fellow cyclists here. How's it going? Yellowstone River.
on the road again. Talk to you later.